MacBook applications. You probably watched a lot of videos what applications to install, which one are useful, and at the end you delete 90% of them. Am I right? Yes. Now I'm gonna tell you my top 5 MacBook applications, not because of some recommendations, they because of as a software engineer I use for a few months or a few years and they are totally useful and time saver. You can use even for your daily life or for work. I will tell you the application and I will tell you what the issue the application solves. The first one is drop zone. Sometimes when I download something and I need to move the downloaded file into the different folder and maybe in my desktop folder I have a lot of nested folders and I need to move the file into one of my nested folders, I need to do a lot of like movements. The drop zone is just an icon on the MacBook's top bar. When you move the file into the top bar and you open your each folder as much as nested and from just the top bar you move the application into the folder that you want. You can do bulk and the single and there are a lot of other functionalities that you can check but most of time I just use only just the dragging and dropping and it saves me a lot of times that if I will do like five steps to uh, move some file into a folder, I do it like in the one step. The second one is hand mirror. If you work in IT like me, so probably you have a lot of online meetings. And before of the meeting, sometimes you need to check how you look like without opening the software or even some of the applications doesn't let you to see yourself before a meeting and you want to know like what's behind you. For example, before a meeting and the hand mirror is just a simple icon on the top part and you just can click and see yourself how you look, what's behind you and that's all like simple and useful. The next one is a rectangle. If you ever used Windows OS, you probably know how you can drag and drop windows and like organize your desktop and Mac OS doesn't have this functionality, I don't know why, maybe it no, no, I, it, it doesn't have, I really check, I ne never find anywhere. If it is in somewhere in the settings, you can write in the comments. So, but uh, I didn't find it and rectangle the application that I installed and it's added that functionality to dragging windows on your Mac OS and uh, you can split in the four windows or two. Like I usually use uh, two, like from sometimes I'm on the right side, I open my code editor, yes, I have a big monitor. My code editor and the like left side the browser and the the soul like just adding small functionality but saves a lot of time to uh, trying to arrange the windows on macOS. Friends, I didn't get paid of any of those applications, so if you like some of them and want to support me, you can write in the comments which application were more useful for you and put like on the video and subscribe to my channel to see my next videos. It will be biggest support. The fourth one is Monosnap. Now I worked on a front-end project and I do a lot of screenshots. I need to write some text on the screenshot, put arrows like copy pass sent to the client, send on the teams as a message. Built-in macOS screenshot application is very bad. So that's because I use Monosnap. You can just very simply do screenshots it automatically saves into your clipboard or draw some arrows or some texts and it is like very time saver and do very quickly very simply and I just can do some screenshot and like do command V to put on Teams application and send to my friend and I do it quickly sometimes like I need to do it like five times per minute so I use Monosnap to solve that problem and do it faster. The next application is App Cleaner. App Cleaner more is not about productivity, but when you use your Mac OS for a long time, there are a lot of uh, files, a lot of applications that you can delete and a lot of files are saving into your memory and Hub Cleaner is just like an application to uninstall your applications. When you want to uninstall some application, when you want to delete, you are dragging just into Hub Cleaner and it shows the other files that connected with that application and it helps you to delete it. It is for your MacBook long-term health, I will say. And I decided to recommend the five applications, but I would recommend one more optional. It is monitor control. Uh, in case if you have an, one extra monitor, you can install monitor control because I had two extra monitors and none of them were not supported by Mac OS brightness, like increasing, decreasing. And monitor control is just a small icon that I use every day to increase or decrease brightness of my second monitor because sometimes I can open some 
Word document and it makes me blind and then I'm opening uh, code editor and it is dark and I just do very quick like increasing decreasing of brightness so very useful if you have an extra monitor. That is all, all links of the applications on the description so see you on the next time.